So it was my final weekend in Mexico City. What was I going to do? Best city in the world. That's it. I don't have to go to any other cities. I think I know which one I like. It's the Day of the Dead. We get to the Zucalo and oh my god, so many people. Not many people were actually dressed up. But unless you were in the parade, generally not. So I kind of felt like a bit of a dick, but, but we were dressed up. Me, Bernardo, and Katie. Hello, Katie. How are you? Oh my god, the parade was amazing though. Just like out of James Bond. And we were just like out front of that James Bond hotel. Again, my god, I loved it. Fuck, why can't we do shit like that in Australia? Come on. Afterwards, we went to, directly across the street, actually, there was a Chinese restaurant. Like, I was very interested to see the, the, the take on Chinese food by Mexicans or Mexican Chinese people. It was interesting. I suppose Australian Chinese cuisine is interesting as well. I mean, everywhere that's not China is probably interesting in that way of using the term interesting as in weird and wrong. Lots of sausages, lots of salsa, um, lots of things that just didn't seem to go to me, but it was okay, it's okay. Bernardo has a weird thing about Asian people. It's like an adorable version of racism. Like, he's frightened of them. It's like, what do they put in the salsa? I think they're going to steal my mind. They're microchips. They're kind of, they're kind of tricky. Like all these things you would just say, I'm like, I can't wait to get you in Australia. It's gonna be so funny. Then after that, we went to watch the Zombie Run. It's a thing that happens at Chapultepec Park every year. It's a, like a marathon. It was cool. It was really cool. Um, everyone dresses up, dresses up and is a zombie or whatever and does a run around the park. So one day we went over to Bernardo's grandma's place. She cooked us up some mole with chicken and some rice. And so good and she's just so lovely i was actually helping out like cut up raffle tickets um for the local for their church and you know they were telling me about all the churchy stuff and virgins and things like that and i'm like okay cool rad like it sounds a lot more interesting than churches i've been to here like hillsong and all that shit not that i've been to hillsong i have never been i never will don't even like going to gloria jeans thank you very much bernardo's grandma gave me these beautiful virgins and things of various things so that's they're lovely and i still have them and carry them in my wallet and things i've got heaps of them i've got heaps of them the more virgins the better hey so it was actually now my final full day in mexico city with bernardo we were going to Teotihuacan. hopefully i'm saying that correctly yeah so we drove out there and my god, it's amazing. Like these giant buildings. City of the Gods, as the Aztecs called it. Because it wasn't the Aztecs that built it, it was the Olmecs or Toltecs, I believe. We had to line up for the. My, my, my camera ran out of battery, so you're probably not going to see the best shots. It's just some things on Bernardo's phone. But so I had a very spiritual experience while I was there, which I didn't tell anyone about at the time. We lined up for the temple of the sun which is the big biggest pyramid there yeah. it's quite a long lineup quite steep steps until you get to the top and um but wow what a view it's amazing you think of what happened up there for hundreds of years thousands of years and everything it's just it's a spiritual spiritual place and a spiritual experience and i prayed 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 so hard to whoever was listening please let this last please don't let me fuck this up let me stay well. I was well. I was so well. Which is when I have to be most careful. But I really wanted it so badly. I can't tell you how much, how hard I prayed to Quetzalcoatl or whoever was listening. I really tried. I really, I really did. So we got a donkey ride down the bottom back to the car park. Had some polky on the way. Love polky. So nice. So that final night, me and Bernardo, we went to Xochimilco, which is kind of this, still in a very kind of traditional Aztec style of national park. They have the waterways and canals, and you're on a canal boat, and they have shows and various things there. Bernardo and I watched a La Llorona show. I mean, it was all in Spanish in Nahuatl. Uh, Bernardo translated, and it was just, it was beautiful, but sad. You know, it's a sad story. And it was a sad but beautiful night and I was already missing him and I was already getting depressed which isn't good 
What did I miss in Mexico City? We did miss going to the porno cinema. I really would have liked that. So that's definitely on the net on the list. So it was the time to say goodbye. Say goodbye to his family. Thank you for having me. I said goodbye to Bernardo at the gate. <sighs> we just couldn't take our eyes off each other, like we just didn't want that to. And I was just thinking, I know he's going to be there forever, but just in case, I want to remember this moment. And so I'm glad that I did. Because unfortunately, nothing is set in stone. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, yeah, emotional episode, wonderful episode, great memories. <sighs> I can't wait to get back there. Why does Mexico have to be so far away? And today feels even more more far away because I'm about to go into a facility for possibly 12 months. No, I'm not doing 12 months. Um, for my mental health, for the way that I treat my mental health with alcohol, and who the fuck knows who I'm going to be when I get out. So yeah, quite an emotional time. Uh, beautiful memories, wonderful memories. I love that city so much, fuck man. Why can't it be so much closer? Why can't I be there now? I miss it. I miss the people. I miss I miss everyone. I miss I miss Bernardo. I miss Rodrigo. I miss everyone. I miss all the people that I haven't even met yet. I've been meeting people on Instagram and online. By the way, if you want to subscribe to my Instagram, it's Cobjack. Be sure to check that out. It's what I do mostly. In my butt shots, not always, but sometimes. Um, check us out on Facebook, please. Uh, it's obviously down under and south of the border. And that's where most of this stuff is trying to be kind of, you know, wrangled for lack of a better word please please subscribe to the channel please subscribe and comment below tell me what i can do better tell me what you like tell me what you don't like um i'd love to hear from you okay guys thanks so much for watching see you next time adios amigos